वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello dear students and uh, welcome to cdjw classes of uh, permutations and combinations uh, well so uh, before we go into permutations and combinations let's just understand the basic the fundamental principles of counting all right so first uh, in the synopsis let us discuss about the counting principles all right so there are two principles the first one uh, principle of addition and the second is principle of multiplication so first addition and the second one is uh, multiplication well uh, just imagine that you have been given five uh, uh, objects all right so that's like uh, you have got uh, let us say 3 uh, uh triangles all right of different shape all right so you have got totally three triangles and two all right so you have got three triangles and two squares so there are totally five objects given to you five shapes are given to you now you are asked to uh, select or uh, take one uh, object all right so you are asked to select any one object then how do you select you just take randomly one object you are asked to select any one object okay they have not specified that you have to take right angle triangle or uh, the smaller square nothing like that you can take any object and in how many ways you can do that so totally how many ways you have of uh, selecting any one object all right you can either uh, take uh, one of the three triangles all right you can take uh, either uh, let me name it 1 2 3 and this is uh, a and b okay so either you can select one triangle you can take uh, one triangle or you can take one square right so you can take either uh, one or you can take two or you can take three or you can take a or you can take b so everywhere i am using the word or so either the first triangle or the second triangle or the third triangle or you can take the uh, first uh, square or you can take the uh, second square so totally how many ways you can uh, uh, select there are there is only uh, there are only five ways correct so this is uh, totally three and uh, we are saying or remember whenever you use the word or it means that it is addition all right so either you can take uh, any one of the three triangles so you have got three ways of selecting the triangle and you have got two ways of selecting the squares all right so either three triangles or three ways of selecting a triangle or means addition 
and uh, two ways of uh, selecting the square so there are totally five ways of selecting one object you are asked to select only one object but the question is not how many objects you are selecting the question is that how many ways you can do that job all right so there are totally five ways you can perform this uh, operation all right so you are asked to select one object in how many different ways you can do that there are only five ways right you are asked to select only one object i hope that is clear now let's move on and that is called as addition principle okay so imagine there are m ways of doing one work and there are n ways of doing the second work independent of each other then totally how many ways are there so that will be m plus n ways all right so that will be only m plus n ways that is called addition principle so there is no link between the first uh, operation and the second they are independent of each other all right so you are doing that uh, doing that independently now let's move to the multiplication principle now what you are asked to select you are asked to select one triangle and one square all right the word and is very important here so that's the keyword you have to uh, watch out for now uh, select one triangle and one square in how many ways you can do this uh, uh, task all right so you are uh, given a task in how many ways you can perform that so that's the uh, number of ways we are counting here and there we have to make use of this multiplication principle let's take the example of the first selection all right the first selection can be you have selected one triangle the first one okay and you are asked to select one square you have taken the square a so one comma a could be the first way of selection the second way of selection is you have taken one uh, the first triangle and the second square or the next uh, okay the next one can be so everywhere we are saying one the first triangle one and uh, square b a all right or or the next way of selection is uh, triangle two and uh, square b so understand those words very clearly so what word i am using here and because i need two items here two objects here i need a triangle and i need a square which triangle you can select is up to you all right so i have selected the first triangle here and first square the square a or the second kind of selection can be i have taken the triangle uh, uh, 2 and the square b so that could be the second or there is another way of doing it or i have the third way of doing it i'll take the second uh, uh, triangle right and uh, the square a or i'll go with the square b right or the next way I can do is uh, I will take the third triangle and with that I will take the square A or I will go with the third triangle and uh, the square B. So totally how many ways I have got now? There are totally six ways and how do you calculate that? There are three triangles and there are two squares alright. So how many ways you can take uh, those three triangles? three ways and and how many ways you can select one square how many ways you can select one square two ways correct but we have got totally six ways finally so if you add you are going to uh, get only five ways right but we have to justify this six ways so what do you go or uh, what do you do here you multiply right so that means you get six ways of uh, performing this task how many ways you can select one triangle three ways how many ways you can select one square 
two ways because there are only two you can take the square a or you can take the square b so totally there are only two ways now how many ways you can do uh, how many ways you can select one triangle and one square so if you have the word and you got to multiply here so three ways into two ways will give you six ways that's the difference between addition principle and multiplication principle all right so here uh, you have three ways or two ways here you have three ways and two ways so that's the word you have to watch out for the word or the word and so that will make the difference uh, whether you will add or multiply well so that is about uh, the counting uh, principle let's solve a few examples based on this counting principle well dear students let's uh, look at one example uh, based on the counting principle uh, you have uh, 27 boys and 14 girls in a class the teacher wants to select uh, one boy and one girl all right uh, in how many ways that uh, this selection can be done well so how many ways one boy can be selected from 27 boys you can take the first uh, boy or you can select the second one or you can select the third one so there are 27 boys how many ways you can do that 27 ways you can do that right so selection of boy a uh, boy uh, can be done in 27 ways all right similarly how many ways the selection of a girl can be done selection of a girl can be done in 14 ways you can select the first girl or the second one or the third one so there are totally 14 so 14 ways you can do that now do you multiply them or add them is the question okay so you have to select one boy and one girl the word and is the keyword here all right so if you have got and here and you need two uh, students all right you got to multiply if you have one boy or one girl you just add them you just add them all right so now you got to multiply because you have and so you got to multiply so therefore total number of ways is equal to 27 into 14 all right so 27 into 14 27 into 10 is 270 27 into 4 is 108 270 plus 108 378 so totally 378 uh, ways you can do this selection option a is the answer so uh, how do you know whether you have to multiply or add you have to look out for this word okay so you need one boy and one girl therefore you multiply if the question was one boy or one girl you just add 27 and 14 well therefore 370 is the answer for the first question option e is the answer so thank you for watching we'll be solving more and more uh, questions based on counting principle and then we'll go to the permutations so once again thank you for watching don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.